Hi, uh, welcome back. Here we will uh, understand how we can install the web server on the Windows uh, virtual machine and how we can connect it uh, from the public IP and access that uh, uh, Windows uh, web server. So let me go to my uh, virtual machine. This is my virtual machine, which is my Windows virtual machine. If you can see the operating system is Windows and let me connect it uh, via the RDP protocol. So here I can download my RDP file and let's get connected so we will connect here and then what we will do is we will install uh, the iis which is nothing but the web server and then we will try to connect to this vm and uh, see the the landing page of the iis so i've used a very basic uh, uh, machine here so when I say a basic machine, it means like uh, one uh, core and one uh, GB memory. So let's see how the performance is. So because the more core and the more memory you have, it's, it becomes very really easy for to install the web servers and other uh, workloads on the machine. So let's see when this spin ups, I should be able to log into this uh, Windows machine and I should be able to install my IIS. So we will install IIS using which is nothing but the web server and by using the uh, so the moment the machine spins up we should get the the server manager and with the help of the server manager we can go and add and remove the software we can uh, we can play around with different settings of the uh, the windows servers and uh, all those things so let me let me come back once this machine spins up so I think it's starting up now So I'm back uh, on this machine so I was able to spin up so this is if you see this is server manager and if I click here this is this is the icon you can go on server manager or you can go and search here the server manager and now I will go to add roles and features and here we will go and uh, try to uh, install uh, the uh, so role based feature uh, role based or feature based installation let me go to the next step and select a server so this is my server test VM this is my machine this is the internal IP address and then i can select here as a, a web server iis so once you yep so now uh, once i will say add feature and then i will say next and next next and then this will install my web server on this uh, windows machine so let me uh, come back again once this is installed and then we can try to access this uh, web server from the public IP. Hi guys, so uh, I was able to uh, install IIS server. So now, so this IIS server is nothing but the web server. So now I'm trying to reach out to this IIS server, but I will not be able to do it. The reason is because we don't have, we are not allowing the traffic coming to uh, this web server via the port 80. So now let me show you this. So if you see here, I'm trying to reach to this uh to this specific public ip and this public ip belongs to or uh, belongs to this uh this server and this server is nothing but my web server so now what we will do is uh we will go back to our portal and on the portal if you see here this is my public ip and i was trying to hit to the public ip and i was not able to do it now why i'm not able to do it because there is a networking there is a network service group so let me go back to my nsg yeah, this NSG nothing but as we discussed in our, our previous uh, sessions, this is like a firewall. So if you see here, the only thing which is allowed here is RDP, which is on the port 3389. So now let me add uh, inbound rule source. So now source is anything, any IP which is coming from my public uh, internet and from any port range which can come in. And then destination is uh, any of the destination uh, coming to this uh, internal uh, network. So it can go to any of the VM which belongs to this network. So right now we have only one VM. And what I'm trying to do is I am just uh, allowing the destination port in is 80 because when you do an HTTP on this web server, I need a port 80 to be open and priority I will keep as a default and then I will say add the moment I will add this rule uh, after adding this rule. Hopefully we should be able to go and uh, hit the HTTP request on this specific uh, Windows server. So let's see how uh, this is still going on. So, okay, this is created. So now let me show you here. The, let me refresh this part. Yeah, I think it came. So yeah, so this port 80 uh, and any of the protocol, any of the source 
uh, any source coming from the internet should be able to reach out to the destination which is by Windows VM. So now let's go back again to this page. 